So next chapter, now we will talk about displacements. And displacements are one of the most important things in realistic rendering. And Renderman is something different to Karma or Mantra. So the displacement itself in Renderman happens on primitive level. So for that, you have to activate the, yeah, the subdivision surface option. Uh, in terms of, uh, of a grid, it will round the corners at render time. And we'll check this on. And when I now render, you will see our box is a perfect sphere. It will be subdivided as much as possible, um, or at least how you have set up the render geometry itself. You have to always use the render geometry settings. Render geometry settings means that you um, that you can change the properties of each of those geometries in the stream on the fly. And for displacements, it's heavily important to activate the displacement itself and as well as raise the radius. If you don't do this, this is essentially the bounding, the displacement bounds. When you don't do this, you will not see any displacement whatsoever. So the, the number of subdivisions that Renderman is creating is determined by this micro polygon length on the dicing. So we can dial it up to, like I say, five. And this will, of course, um, decrease the amount of RAM that your operation or that your displacements require to be rendered. So I will now add a displacement material and I think uh, maybe we should look what we have. So this is not the sphere, this is the box. And so we can delete this one and here we have the box itself so it's the green material one uh, the green the green matte material we don't need that anymore and what we can do is we can use the we can use one of these presets maybe the carbon and there we should have that's not the correct way but here we should have a texture that we can use. So we have this one and that's the bump texture. Okay, so we will copy and paste the manifold, the UV coordinates, the texture itself. We don't need the bump for now. Copy it out delete that, go to our material and copy it in. So we can place the texture to the displacement, pixel displacement itself and you also need the pixel displacement transform. And the result float value will be dragged to the scalar input of the displacement and the displacement output go to the output collection. And the input from here comes from RBD uh, float. I think this is the right one exactly. So we will convert this uh, vector value to a float value and put it to the displacement scalar. And now you see the displacement already has happened. What we um, also need to change is the frequency itself and we also need some coordinates, some UV coordinates. So I will create those coordinates right now. I will go back to our object right in here and I will only use uh, unwrap. unwrap. It will look probably not correct something like that. 
and but it should work so we should see something and maybe here comes the issue as you can see we have lesser intersections when we dial up this value and every time when you change those shading materials for displacement you either change those values or you restart your render so that render man is recaching and recalculating the displacement itself so i will do this and what you see right now is you have those corner areas those black sharp areas this is because of our unwrapping so when i dial down the displacement by itself you see nothing has changed we need to restart the render and as you can see we have those black areas only on on those er uh, edges of the uv um, unwrapping so when you create displacements for renderman you need to make sure that your unwrapping as well as your displacement texture is working correctly over across u multiple uv patches or multiple uv udems of course um, i can demonstrate what will happening when we deactivate this you see we have no displacement so the render geometry settings is essential to get displacements you can deactivate it right here of course but when this value is at zero nothing happens so this is probably the most important thing about displacements and now random man tries to recache okay now we ha we are back so there's something uh, that i like to mention when you go to the displacements there is this pixel displacement transform and this is really handy when you work with substance designer for example because here is a remapping mode and the remapping mode is in, in most substance materials based on centered um, this is really great uh, for uh, displacements that go into both directions and not based on a displacement that only goes up so for that you need this option here can also change the displacement type itself to create something like a vector displacement but for that you also have to define the vector you have a texture you need to have a texture for the vector and you also need to um, um, plug the result xyz into displacement vector input and, and there is another trick of doing um, displacements in some rare cases so let us say you have a very harsh sphere like this and you don't want that this box became a sphere or becomes a sphere what you can do is or what you have to do in in, in, in those situations is you have to subdivide it by hand on the mesh level that means you go here and probably uh, dial up decrease weight and you increase this value by yourself something like or six so six should be enough and when you did that what you have to do is you have to uncheck this and when everything is working nicely now it should have some form of displacement but as you can see it's not working right now my bad I changed the shader this was my fault we have no vector displacements and now it is working so I will see you in the next chapter bye